I'm Matt with eTrailer. Today we're going to be talking about Titan Chains snow tire chains with the assisted tensioning on them on our 2022 Volkswagen Atlas Crossboard. Now this is going to be on our tire size 255-50 R20 on our front axle. And let me just put out there, this has very limited clearance. As per the manual rec recommends, it doesn't actually recommend any tire chains, but if you live in a state that requires tire chains, you're gonna need something. And this is a class S chain, so it's gonna be very close to your tire. If you actually look back here, it's gonna be very limited. I can still get my finger almost through there, but it's definitely something to be mindful when you're driving. I wouldn't take this on any long drives, and I'd definitely keep it under 25 miles an hour. Now this will be a great set of chains for you if you're looking for something that's gonna get you through a lot of moderate ice and snow. Something that's gonna have a little bit more bite to it. Now let's take a closer look at these chains. Like I said before, these are gonna be S-Class, so they're gonna sit very close to your tire, and they're gonna have these square links to them. Those square links is what's gonna provide you more bite through ice and snow, even though they are small. And we're gonna have this diamond pattern, and that diamond pattern is going to help assist giving you more traction when making turns, as opposed to your ladder patterns that give you more traction when driving just forward. And beneath here, we're going to have these coated chains. And what's nice about that is since they have this coating on them, they're going to be a little bit easier to grab when it's cold outside. And if they do make contact with your rim, they're going to be less likely to cr uh, scratch it up. And then beneath here, we're going to see this red channel. That red channel is going to assist with that tensioning. Along that, it's going to go through these eyelets and attach this yellow chain up top, just using this hook and this rubber piece. And they're going to come two to a set in this padded case. And I actually like this case because it's pretty lightweight. And if you look inside, they're actually going to have these little bags that hold your chains in place. I think this is going to last you a few seasons or quite a bit of time. Now, if you kind of don't take a lot of good uh, care of your chains. You're putting them in, the, them in here with a lot of ice and they're wet. They could, it could kind of degrade the bag over time. And then if that's the case, then it might be better if you invest in maybe a small tote. Now overall, I think this is gonna be a really easy chain to get on your tires. And I think they're gonna do a good job through getting you through ice and snow. The only downfall really is how close they sit to your uh, suspension in the back, but that's gonna be with any S-Class tire chain. Now, if you want something that's going to remedy that, you got two options. I'd either recommend the Koenig K Summits. They're going to sit just on top of the tire and won't be anywhere near your suspension. But they're going to be more of a premium option. Now, if you're looking for something more of an entry-level option, I'd actually recommend uh, Tire Socks. We have them on our websites. And they're going to sit very close to your uh, tires. They're just going to be a, a fabric that wraps around them. And they won't get anywhere near your suspension. But if you like these tire chains, because they do have that nice bite to them and that, that, that middle ground, then I think they're going to be a good fit for you. But if you've got more questions about the install, just stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. So to start off the install, I just like to lay out my chains. And preferably, I'd do this in more of a clean environment, something that's not going to be snowy and icy, because you don't want to learn how to put on these chains for the first time on the side of the road in a blizzard. But once you have everything laid out, just kind of check it over. Make sure there's no damages to the links and nothing's kind of tangled up. Make sure everything's in the right orientation. You want this gray cord to be facing your tire and these yellow chains to be facing you. And also make sure we have these hooked links. And we want to make sure those hooks are facing down because when we put them on our tires, we want that flat side on the tire itself. Once you have everything situated, you kind of push everything to the side and push it to the back of the tire, splitting it down the middle and pushing it back here. After when it's back there, just kind of pull everything to one side or its retrospective side. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then we can grab that gray cord in the back on both ends and make that connection at the top. Just like so, just putting that block in that channel. Make sure you maintain control of your chains and let that portion fall behind the tire. 
Then just drape this portion over the tire, connecting this kind of blue screen hook to this yellow link. Just like that. And you're gonna notice it's kind of hanging a little bit low. So just kind of make sure everything is seated in place. You don't want to make contact with your rim. And now we can come to the bottom, pull it, pulling everything nice and tight, grabbing this red channel, and putting this gray chain through here. Then I'm just going to apply some pressure, pull it nice and tight, and then do the same thing through these eyelets. Just like so, and pulling for each one. And once you get through this last eyelet, we can cinch everything down completely, making sure you have everything the way you want it. And then go to the furthest point you can get to. Because we want this to be pretty tight. So I'm gonna go for right here. And then just kind of do it and do another test to make sure everything's situated. If you like the way everything fits, then all you have to do is do that same process on the other side. And after that, I just recommend pulling up some or backing up some to make sure everything's sitting on here well. Then if everything's fitting the way you want it to, then you can take it for a ride. But if you liked everything you saw today, let's just look at the Titan Chains tire snow chains with assisted tensioning on our 2022 Volkswagen Atlas Crossboard.